Man, got around. OG7 back here. And like each and every day, guys, I'm going to share with you some very interesting and fascinating stories that demonstrate victory and glory in your life. The victory of understanding. There's many different ways to skin a cat. And the glory once you realize the best way to skin a cat for you. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to talk to you today about these uh, minimalistic quotes. And the quote I'm going to share with you today is there are two ways to be rich, guys. One is by acquiring much. And the other is by desiring little. And I want to give... Uh, I want to give credit for getting this quote. It's from a guy named Jackie French Kohler from 1948. And while this is very important, a lot of you guys ask me, hey, OG, you know, what, what prompted you to move to the Philippines? And is it everything you dreamed of? And is the grass greener over there? And all this different stuff, guys. And I want to share with you. There's many types of riches, guys. But one thing I've noticed as I got older, it's not about how much money I have. It's about the quality of my life, dude. And while I was doing very well for myself in California, working in IT, the grind, dude, just the grind and the stress and the cortisol. Um, as I got older and my last daughter left, um, she left the roost. I realized that the juice wasn't worth the squeeze, meaning that all the stress and the cortisol and the pressure to, to make $150,000 a year, it wasn't worth it, dude. I wasn't happy. Yeah, on the surface, I looked like I was happy, but I'm just saying the quality of my life because I like to read books on esoteric things. I like to train martial arts. I like to work out. I like to be slim, trim, and fit. And when you work 10 to, when you work 10 to 12 hours a day, by the time you get home, you're drained from energy. So, yeah, you might make it to the dojo, and you might train for two hours, and you might even go to the gym for an hour. But the quality of your workouts is diminished because, dude, you're just so stressed out. You're thinking about the next day. You're thinking about troubles at work and the trouble tickets you have and re first call resolution and all this stuff right so then fast forward i moved to vegas and i was like hey you know what i'm just going to train martial arts so as you guys know i signed up to train at seven different martial arts places i was living in basically heaven on earth i was so happy and i was doing yoga and pilates and hit boot camps which stands for high intensity training and then i had the fortune of being master jason and master air in the cold Vegas, I started making movies. So we can debate whether they're B or C movies. It doesn't matter. It was a very interesting experience. Got to make martial arts fight scenes. But there's a lot of pressure associated with that as well, guys. And yeah, the money was good, you know. So if you're figuring uh, you're making about uh, $5,000 a movie, right? That's some good additional income. You know what I mean? Let's just say five or 10000 Normally for me, it was about 5000 But I did have one or two, especially when I worked on the cleaning lady. I got paid 10 Gs, which was a, was a good surprise. But let's say it's 5000 That's a good little additional income, man. But the stress and the pressure, you're on set from like fucking 6 in the morning until... One time I was on set from 6 in the morning until 5 in the morning the next day. It's not worth it for me. So then fast forward, I'm hitting the Philippines... I'm training in the Filipino martial arts. I'm training in Taekwondo. I'm training in Wushu and Tai Chi. I'm doing yoga. I'm doing. I'm trying to do Zumba with my girlfriend. I got a really good life. And so while I may be making less money, the quality of my life has increased and it has enhanced exponentially. I can't explain it to you. And those of you who are in the westernized cultures, I'm not trying to tell you what to do or how to live. I'm just sharing with you a different perspective on life and a different perception and when I stepped outside of the matrix, I no longer had to be on a hamster wheel. And I no, had, no longer had to keep up with the Joneses with that lifestyle in California, 150 G's a year. And then in Vegas, I'm making 100 G's. I don't know, guys. For me, man, it's all about, you know, like this quote says, it's two, two ways to be rich. One is by acquiring much, which I've done. And I was talking to my, my brother. And I was telling him, man, as you get older, you realize... All these material things, man, what do they really mean? They're really to impress other people because once you buy a new car or a new house or a new jewelry or a new watch or a new whatever, you know, after you've had it for about a month, the novelty wears off and now you just got more stuff. Whereas over here, you know, it's the rainy season right now and I just get to see the beauty of nature. I just have a much more high quality life. So I wanted to share that with you guys and also let you know 
I got some videos. I'm going to be the following video is going to be me on the uh, e-bus on my way to the the mall in Antipolo City, and I just want to share with you my interaction with the natives, and I look forward to your comments and everything. And thank you for your continued support. Until next time, OG Silverback out.